Most popular mobile phone brands 1980 to 2008. 1982, MOBIRA, Nokia, Senator, widely considered the Mobira Senator, produced by Nokia, was probably more effort to use than it was worth. Weighing an incredible 10 kilograms. 1983, Motorola DYNATAC 8000X, just one year after Mobira's famous Senator model launched, Motorola launched the first ever handheld mobile phone with the Dyna TAC 8000X. 1992 Nokia 1011, the next 10 years were relatively slow in terms of technological advances, with several similar models to the Dyna TAC 8000X popping up, most notably Nokia with the release of its Cityman model under the Mobira brand. 1994, IBM Simon, first launching in 1994, IBM Simon personal communicator is widely considered as the world's first smartphone. Way ahead of its time, the IBM Simon featured a touchscreen display and countless pre-installed apps such as an address book, calculator, calendar, digital notepad, world clock and more. 1996, Nokia 9000 Communicator, remember the Nokia 9000 Communicator? This was the first phone of its kind, marking the start of Nokia's legendary Communicator line. It also served as inspiration for RIM, the mobile phone company that made its name amongst business professionals throughout the mid-2000s with the BlackBerry brand. 1996, Motorola STARTAC, this was also the year in which the very first clamshell phone, often described as the flip phone, was released. Motorola released the first model from its Star TAC line, also one of the first phones to be branded as a luxury product. 1996 Nokia 8110, another notable phone that was released in 1996 was the Nokia 8110, nicknamed the Banana, due to its curved profile. It attracted a lot of attention from consumers due to the fact that it was so easy to use. 1997 Siemens S10, Siemens rocked the world when it launched its S10 model in 1997, the first mobile phone with a full color screen. It displayed up to six lines of information in four different colors, white, red, blue and green. 1999, RIM BlackBerry 850, three years after Nokia launched its communicator line, BlackBerry entered the professional mobile phone market with its first model, the BlackBerry 850. 1999 Nokia 7110, Nokia also re-entered the slider phone market with its 7110 model. Similar to the 8110 model, this phone featured a sliding cover over its keypad which allowed users to easily accept and end calls. 2000, Sharp JSH04, following the turn of the millennium, mobile technology developments really started to pick up pace. Japanese tech company Sharp released the Sharp JSH04 under the J-Phone brand in November 2000. 2000 Nokia 3310, arguably the most iconic Nokia model of all time with over 125 million models sold, the year 2000 marked the release of Nokia's 3310. It featured screensavers, customizable ringtones and even the option to add a welcome message. 2003 Nokia 1100, mobile technology advancements really started to pick up the pace in 2003, starting with the release of Nokia's monumental 1100 model. 2003, BlackBerry RIM 6210, the BlackBerry 6210, also known as the Quark, was named by Time magazine as one of the most influential gadgets of all time. Whilst there were many successful BlackBerry models before this, the 6210 was the first BlackBerry to actually offer integrated phone functionality. 2004, Motorola Razr V3, released at the end of 2004, the Razr V3 is Motorola's most popular handset to date, selling 50 million units between 2004 and 2006. It also claimed the title of the best-selling clamshell phone of all time. 
2005, Sony Ericsson Walkman W800, 2005 marked the year that Sony partnered with Ericsson to release the first mobile phone under the famous Walkman brand, made famous through its portable cassette players throughout the 80s and 90s. 2007 Nokia N95, Nokia launched its N95 model back in March 2007, sparking the start of the smartphone craze. Boasting 160 megabytes of internal memory with the option to add up to 8 gigabytes on a micro SD card as well as a set of dedicated media controls for watching films and listening to music, it was clear how much thought the manufacturers had put into it. 2007, the iPhone, as most of you will know, one of the main factors for Nokia's demise was the launch of Apple's iPhone. First launching in June 2007, priced from $499 for a two-year contract, Apple managed to sell over 6 million units. 2008, HTC T-Mobile Dream G1, HTC launched its Dream G1 model, also known as the T-Mobile Dream G1 in some areas, in September 2008. Whilst the phone itself was nothing extraordinary for its time, featuring a QWERTY keyboard, a touchscreen and a few buttons for key features such as answering calls, its significance lies in its operating system. 2008 iPhone 3G, just one year after the launch of its first generation iPhone, Apple rocked the smartphone industry yet again with the launch of the iPhone 3G. There wasn't ever an iPhone 2 or 2G, although some people refer to the first iPhone as the 2G, as it was the only iPhone to operate solely on 2G networks. 